Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto TV. This is Ayushi Verma from Invest to Learn Academy, and today I'm here to present the technical analysis outlook for the two major cryptocurrencies, which are Bitcoin and Ethereum. So I'll be looking at the daily chart. We will be talking about few technical indicators and try to understand what the charts are telling us technically. So let's quickly start it with the Bitcoin first. And if you look at the market price, which is trading at thirty-eight thousand seven hundred. So again, we have seen a Uh, sell off uh, from you know at around the forty thousand level because the price whenever the price is reaching to that forty thousand level we are getting a weakness from there so unless and until the price closes above then that we can't say that the overall uh, you know view is uh, positive or you know we have seen a change in the overall view so as of now since the price is you know again and again uh, falling uh, to the downside we can see the negative overview is there and since the price you know yesterday fell down. By three percent, and that's the reason the RSI is also coming downwards. So yesterday, when we were recording this session, uh, that time the RSI was trading at forty-four, but since the price is falling three percent, uh, the RSI is also moving to the forty-one levels. If you look at the moving averages level, so fifty EMA is at forty-one thousand two hundred and fifty, hundred EMA is at forty-two thousand three twenty-three, and two hundred EMA is at forty-three thousand eight seventy-seven. Now since the there is no change uh, in today's momentum uh, so there is a very small dozy you can see we might get more momentum by the end of the day so there is no change in the support and resistance level so these are as it is uh, we can use the previous levels only so support 1 is at 37630 support 2 is at 35335 Resistance one is at forty one thousand two hundred eleven, and resistance two is at forty five thousand three thirty two. So let's quickly move on to the chart of uh, Bitcoin, and we'll try to see what we can uh, get from the chart. Okay, now if I zoom it, if I come closer to the current situation from past few days, we can see the. price is actually hovering around at uh, you know in these two levels only very nicely the price is trading here and if you you know just look at uh, slightly uh, you know uh, a little uh, back time or old time so you can see in the month of february uh, the same situation happened so every time the price you know reached to the resistance there is a fall and you know every time the price reaches to the support there is a slight upside momentum but again you know uh, the price was uh, weak uh, you know whenever the, uh, there There is a trained, uh, tra uh, you know, uh, what, what do you call it? consolidation trading or a sideways trading. So as of now, the price is actually giving you that kind of momentum, and you can see that the price is taking a support of this level and taking a resistance of this level. So it's it's moving in this range only. But uh, you know, if you look at closely, you can see that the price is basically creating the lower high. So that's again a sign that uh, the price might give you more fall. in the upcoming time so that we need to see and as of now no volumes are there and very less uh, trading activity is there again you know all the important things like the moving average is trend line resistance level the price is trading below than all the uh, you know indicators now if you talk about the ethereum so ethereum is also following the same trading at 2830 again you know for ethereum the psychological level is 3000 level and uh, we can see i think it it was uh, 4% down uh, yesterday and that's the reason you know again it's it's coming back to 2800 levels the overall uh, view is negative rsi is at 41 if you look at the moving averages so 50 em is at 3016 100 em is at 3075 and 200 em is at uh, 3136 there is a uh, As of now, I have not changed the support and resistance levels. However, the price is trading very near uh, to the support level, earlier support level. Uh, the price is slightly, you know, trading below than that. And uh, let's just uh, see the closing price because the market is open as of now. So, if the closing price happens to be below than that, we need to change the levels. And uh, if not, then uh, we we can, you know, go with the. uh existing or the respective uh, levels so support 1 is at uh, 2855 support 2 is at 2581 resistance 1 is at 3361 and resistance 2 is at 3627 let's quickly move on to the chart and we'll try to explain you what we were talking about uh about the levels so this is the chart for ethereum and if you look at here 
yes so you can see that you know from the past few days uh, the price is actually hovering around at this particular level sometimes you can see the price closing slightly higher than that and sometimes you can see a you know uh, closing below than that so as of now uh, because the price is not giving you much momentum after a fall of 4% and today there is no uh, volumes uh, are, are you know are also there so you can see that uh, as of now uh, i have not changed the levels here let's keep this thing as the support and if the price you know closes above then that that's that's you know that uh, we don't need to change it and if not if you can see a fall today and closes below then this level we need to change it and if you look at the you know uh, again you know if you look at the february's time or a march time you can see that this level plays a very very important level because uh, many a times the price was actually uh, you know taking either a support or a resistance of this particular 2855 level so again you know we we can see that becomes a very important level also you know this uh, thing i was uh, i have mentioned in my previous recent previous uh, videos as well that the price was not able to uh, you know going up so there is a very uh, less buyers uh, available because you know that day also on 28th of april the buyers actually tried to you know reach towards this trend line level but again they failed and uh, the price closes below then this level also if you look at the, all the move, you know important things like the moving averages trend line and the level the price is actually trading below then all the you know important indicators so that's again shows that uh, you know that gives us an indication that yes the overall trend uh, view is negative for the ethereum as well so basically this is how we are conducting uh, you know analysis for these two cryptocurrencies i hope you are learning something so thank you so much for watching us